John Dowland is considered one of the most accomplished and prolific lutenists of the English Renaissance. He published four books of songs, many works for solo lute, and a number of religious songs. He moved to Paris as a young man, where he converted to Catholicism. This prevented him, he claimed, from winning a post at the Protestant court of Queen Elizabeth, although she did employ William Byrd and Thomas Tallis, also Catholics. Dowland became an extremely highly paid musician at the court of Christian IV in Denmark, and there are rumors that he was a spy on living there. Dowland's music is known for its melancholy, but it's his genius at setting English text that truly sets him apart. The poetry is magical in its metaphors and atmosphere, and it seems highly likely that he wrote his texts himself. There are many ambiguous interpretations possible, and this song is no exception. Fine Knacks for Ladies disguises itself as street cries by a peddler, selling his wares to naive ladies. But it masks the peddler as a would-be lover, crying for his love to take him as he is, claiming that even though his love is worthless, it is constant. Though all my wares be trash, the heart is true, for the heart is true. Hi, Gamba fans. Today we're going to be looking at Fine Knacks for Ladies by John Dowland. Dowland was a genius at setting text to music, and he represents the rhythms of English language beautifully in his own musical rhythms. We have two challenges in this piece. One is fingerings. We have a lot of chordal fingerings, we have a lot of extensions, and we have a lot of half position. So we'll be moving around a lot for our Fs and our B-flats and our high Fs. It's actually not a very big range. It's only an octave for this piece, but we'll be doing a lot of shifting in this piece. The second challenge are the rhythms. We want it to reflect English, and the bow doesn't always like to work that way. So we're going to try to make them agree. Okay, let's start with the, with the fingerings first before we work on the bow. So when we start, we can already get ready for the first chordal fingering. And now I can already start pivoting for this D with the fourth finger. And then the next one is straightforward and I'll shift all the way back to half, so I can do about A. Okay, let's look at the bowing here in this first phrase. The important word is ladies, halfway through the first bar. Not the beginning, it's not fine necks for ladies. It's fine necks for ladies. So let's start with the down bow so that we can really enjoy that top F. The second bar, because we've got this little syncopation, means that we have a bit of a problem because every up bow is a half note and every down is a quarter, which means if we really don't pay attention, we end up with this. 
And it's very uncomfortable. So let's emphasize the half notes without using too much bow. I personally feel that the D is also important, so that doesn't have to be too soft, but the B is a relaxation, so that doesn't have to be loud. Now the next phrase we can just enjoy. Now, look, we have a large jump, an octave. Don't make too much of this. Not too much arm motion. Nothing up and nothing big. Let's use our fingers to get us up there so we can sing this next phrase. Now we have another syncopation. So here we have another chordal fingering and then an extension back and then go back to half position. So a little bit of um, placement there for the left hand. Now the second half. I personally feel that Dowland is showing us a little bit of his sense of humor because he gives us this beautiful long phrase. About trash. Also here at the end, I feel that he's playing a little bit with the, with the text and with our expectations. Because look, we have three times the same text. The heart is true. The heart is true. The heart is true. So the first one is the shortest and the highest. Now we have a syncopation, which is a little bit of a, a, a wink. And now we have a long one. Just one word about this very final phrase. We've got a chordal fingering, but it's not so much chordal as it is a little bit of a shift with a chordal idea. I actually do move my thumb to come back up into first position with an extension. Otherwise, it's a little awkward and hard to make a good sound there in order to make a beautiful end. Now it's your turn. Thank mm -hmm. you.